Hi, welcome. It's time to make the what is new video. So every release cycle, we make a what, uh, how to stay rolling video or how to update your system from one version to the other. Basically follow the ISO. And what's new is this video. So they are out July 2021. The ISOs have been released. The question is what's new? Well, actually, we have already here something that's new. F2 FS has been added. We have now a format system which includes this one as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six options to change. But we have no swap, small swap, big swap, swap to file, four again. I've done my count. This is all the possibilities you can have with old machines, BIOS and UFI, actually different kind of approach, right? So it is about 96 choices. We'll cover that later on, but I just wanted to put that here in the beginning of the page already, because remember the May edition was all about freedom. It is about choices, making ISOs, making distributions is solely in my eyes about choices. What package do I want, etc. We've uh, made also a video about um, and the learning path that we've changed a little bit. The idea was to think, what would I advise to someone coming to Linux? First time ever Linux. And then think about the learning path. So I've done that in another video. And these are the phases that I would suggest to that, such a person. Try this, do that, do that, and so on. And in the end, you are an expert because in the end, phase eight, you can make your own ISO distribution and start off making your own, um, well, spin-off of Arclinks or spin-off from ALCI or Carly, whatever you want to name it. It's all the same thing. It's how to build an ISO. So that's the learning path. We've a little changed a little bit. And as a result, maybe we can quickly have a look. As a result, you'll find that some things have changed here. Phase one and phase two and phase three and phase four will stay through true to that um, way of, of organizing everything and the articles will have to follow the coming months. All right. So, and a little bit down another new thing. We have uh, rewritten Arcolink Spices application. And it, I often joke about that. And um, if you're a Doctor Who fan, you know that that there was some kind of episode where's the big red button push the big red button right we've looked at that code and said let's keep it simple kiss right keep it simple and stupid and just one big button get the arcanics keys and the packages that's all you want if you are on an arch linux based system if you're on endeavor os if you're on arch labs if you are on garuda and all that they're all arch linux and you want to have the keys from Arch Linux, the packages from Arch Linux, on Arch Linux, I mean anything Arch Linux based, but you're, you're, uh, you know, uh, I want to have the awesome config. Okay, then it's just this application, this one button that gets what you need, and that's pseudo Pacman minus s Arch Linux, awesome kit. Boom, you've got the config. So that's um, for us, if you want, if we are on Arch Linux, we're missing the Bash RC, the update, all our aliases. So that's what we do then. So total rewrite. And I've also made a video how to rewrite. So if you're into programming, maybe that's something for you to watch. So this is the first page. And if we click on here on July, 2021, on this link, well, it is, is, it's a hand, right? Uh, I should change this one, I think. Yep, that's still pointing the other one. So let me just pause here and do that. Et voila, that's fixed. Then we go to the article itself. So if you follow this link here, we go to what's new. Okay, so the learning path, we've um, thought about it because we've changed Arcanix XL, which has the open box XFC i3 combination. And now it doesn't, right? So we've changed the learning path and will change a lot of more information in our structure of our uh, websites. Now, at some point last 
release in May and we've been playing with as you see with drivers it all matters the kernels the drivers the hardware what hardware do you have there are thousands of variations right so if you have issues with drivers that's the first thing you notice if something is black for example <laughs> you boot up and it's all black then you know already oh probably it's going to be drivers or it's going to be the kernel because not every um, machine is built equally let's say it like that i have, I have zero issues with any of these um, isos on my machines but i've from your response i know that's not the case for everyone so first off let me tell you i have just made a new purchase of a pc do your work when you buy your next computer make sure it works on linux that's the first rule and then later windows right but first make sure it's supported for linux and that's the advice i can give you for the future purchase for the the, the this point in time what you have well you could try out different ISO since we have been experimenting with drivers on our ISOs right whether I use this one or that one or this one everything boots up on my on my end right everything works but it's still figuring out what you need and what we've done as extra in May is adding the Nvidia driver so it's not the Nvidia 340 maybe you should have a look at that so there are old machines out there like really old machines and some of these drivers have been moved to legacy they call it legacy branch here and there's also the 390 now often the older things are supported by linux and more likely by linux lts the long-term support kernel so that might be the trick you don't need maybe to install these old nvidia drivers but maybe an old linux well an old a linux lts kernel that supports older machines so this is for some of us a challenge to figure out the drivers we're there to support you to help look with you together with you on discord telegram and such but it is still a, a very much figured out on your own thing and that's okay in the sense that we have the arch wiki right there's arch wiki intel all about intel graphics there is intel nvidia and there is nvidia uh, sorry there is ati arch wiki and that's or amd try both of them and see um, if that results in success right because of course we want you to be successful in installing arch linux in the form of arch linux but it is this thing of course that's it for some of us uh, different different and difficult so try out other isos that's the tip i can give you try out different isos you see there are different things on here and see if that's the reason then you know immediately when you boot up again Control T, you're in TTY, remove, and then these are the names, or install, these are the names. To support you with uh, in our GRUB and in our UFI, there are three lines. First line is use open source drivers. Second line is you're sure you're gonna be need NVIDIA. We're not talking about 340 and not talking about 390, it's all written down here. We are talking about NVIDIA. It is just a name. It's a Lego block and it's there. And what I recommend is this one as well. The th a three a Trinity, we call it, and utils. That's it. That's the Trinity. I have just one machine that I can test it on and it works fine with open source. So it works fine with this one. And it also works fine with that one. And there's another machine here in my, in my realm, <laughs> headquarters of Alcolinix, right? And it says, no, this, when I boot up with NVIDIA, it says, it's, it, you need, uh, in the black, black lines, right? In the black screen, it needs, it needs NVIDIA 390, it says to you. Also a hint. 
but of course it will work not with open source driver it's a macbook pro i'm talking about it works with no mode set and you can change these lines you can change these three lines and you will find the same thing you can edit it with tab or e and add more lines to it more things to it like no epic and such such things so i got stuck the advice is in here try out an old version try out an, an iso version and of course uh, first try the one in july but um that's just for the people who got stuck here is some documentation just copy paste from archwiki from intel not installing they recommend archwiki recommends xf86 video intel not to be on the iso so it's not on this iso it is on that iso so you can have a look what do i need is it necessary for me to have i've heard from people that it was necessary to have the intel video driver otherwise nothing happened so it's um a sherlock holmes story for some of us and yes indeed if you know some if you know what lego blocks you need you can build your own iso right articlinksb.com build your own iso so this is what i need for my hardware and i'll omit the other ones that i don't need here we have again the new file system to uh, f2fs you know, file system there's the wiki there's the kernel.org i'll let you read i've installed a few of my ssds here like that it's, it doesn't feel fast or anything but it's just another way of formatting you just have a look and read what you can find online this we've already told you uh, the articlex keys and the packages we've made a video and how to make how to create is i suppose this one i don't know let's have a look the title is how to get out mix keys at mix repos when on an arch linux based system and this one is about and this one is about back office applying the kiss principle showing you python gtk code and showing how i've changed it i've also looked at our linux file system it was still on my to do to have a developer's kind of look or a practical kind of look at what files folders are actually super important where are the files that i always go to and, and look or analyze or things like that so basically all the knowledge of, of maintenance and, and developing is in here so that's uh, well good to have a look at we are supporter by far for virtualbox it works everywhere all the time we use virtualbox standard it's the official uh, supported virtual machine but we've also put in support for vmware and qmu which is rather technical qmu but with a script as you know once you figure everything everything out you put it in a script and you run it so it's on the github.com slash energy slash nemesis and i'll run it we've created surf and papyrus casablanca and i've also shown you how you, you can do that it's not that difficult to create something um, yourself and this is a screenshot actually coming from discord um, you may have seen it on there we've switched from from yay paru uh, paru and yay right uh, um so instead of yay we are actually using paru at this point in time with there were some versions problems with paru at some point in time in maintenance time so we just made sure we got everything so everything is online paru paru bin paru git it's all built and it's all even further than officially here right release 22 we are at release 57 right it's not maintained in the sense that the number is not updated on AOR we do so voila we've got um, Paru there is also yay just applies let's do it the other way around right Paru and then yay same applies here there's yay git there's yay bin and there's also picower if you want to try that out um, so yeah we have three variants of each of them so 
we're good, we're solid, as they say. At some point in time, UREXVT was um, updated and we couldn't copy paste anymore. So it was due to something in the X resources we had to change and done, we can copy paste again. The maintainer of Sublime Text Dev changed the, the concept behind it. And this particular package, you need to actually put in your key. So you buy, you can buy this package if you have the resources, please do and support this, this package since it's awesome. And Sublime Text Dev, well, you can't use it anymore. So we've changed to Sublime Text 4, where we can still use it without a key. Only Arcanix XL, XS and XD have been rebuilt. The rest will have to uh, say sudo pacman minus s sublime text 4 to change, to make the switch to the, well, kick dev out and get the 4 in. We've added some more things. So people, recommendations uh, you have on Discord, a ch an, an channel called Suggestions. I find them myself, you find them, and they go, go online, and now you can install them as well. Due to a tip from AKM on Discord, we've simplified our configuration. Nothing really happened, but it's uh, more, um, well, simple. Everything works, so that's the main thing. Pacman version 6, we had our troubles with that, right? Lots of changes there. Parallel downloads is extra. We had an error in pacman.conf. We had to delete the line. Consequently, PAMEC didn't work anymore. And later on, PAMEC all was then, well, got a package built to rebuild um, the context or the, the, the dependencies of PAMEC all changed. None has, this has nothing to do with us at all. So we're just uh, users like yourself and we follow um, what happens and we adapt basically and PAMEC all is working again this little thing down here and we've changed everything at some point in time termites has been has given us the notice we're stopping right um, so if you install these days to the pacman minus s termite we get this nice message that uh, he's stopping termite is obsoleted by alacrity Terminate is now obsolete. Okay, fine. At this point in time, it's still there. It's also still in our tweak tool, but we'll see how it evolves. Uh, next ISO will be mid September, right? So probably will die in its own silently, uh, suddenly, silently. It will not work anymore. And then we get rid of it. At this point in time, it still works. Grub update, another surprise for us as users. We just, um, at the Linux world, of course, got a, a, like a shockwave. Suddenly, other operating systems were not visible anymore because it says Grub disable OS Prober false. So it didn't see any of the other things. So we've added this line. So it really is going to check. Is there anything more on this machine? Should I make, should I add Windows? Should I add Ubuntu? Should I add Solus to the grub list? So we've had that. Yeah. We've added some log applications as well to the Arconix XL ISO since it's the XL version, right? We, and only that one has the Arconix meta log. So it's an application. You can, uh, well, it's a meta application. Meta just means there is more insight than this this metalog thing, there are different things inside, like Arconix Steam, right? Just type Arconix, well, yeah, not like this, sudo pacman minus s Arconix meta. That's what we have as meta packages. So there is Asian fonts, the fun stuff, all these um, colors, and then, uh, yeah, you'll see. And Steam is here, Samba is here, logout, and the meta utilities. Things, these things are basically a long list of packages. How do you know that? Because you go to PAMEC and you read. Let's take Steam, everyone likes to play from time to time. And it's gonna install stuff. What stuff? This, a long list of things. So it's just a group package kind of saying, okay, 
if you type this, you're going to install all of that. So if we created that for the logging tools as well. So you see already Pacman is here and then Ventoy Log is here, Xorg is here, VMware is here. And for us, it's interesting, of course, to take a look at. The nsswitch.conf got an update from Arch Linux and we've taken our, we've taken a look at it and said we're gonna change this. Hey, what was it again? NS switch doesn't seem to have alias and a switch and a switch okay nano and a switch I forgot one n so nano and a switch is a file that we've changed so if you think that's the reason why you can't get to your your um, NS so network attached storage for example then maybe have a look here um, it's supposed actually to make it work. So this is something that Archlinx changed and we've changed it back to what we think is best for people owning NAS servers. Plasma, we've got a new package here for Surfing Plasma Dark and Archlinx. So, uh, well, it was in development for months and now we've made the move to different icons. That's all it is. Carly and LCI, of course, we keep on making tutorials about Carly. So customized Arch Linux ISO and Arch Linux Calamars installer. If Arch ISO comes with a new version, voila, that's the reason to make another video. But also a new article on ALCI to boot into your chosen desktop instead of ALCI DWM, our version of DWM. So it's, it is all about phase eight, I should say now. Let's have a look. I should start learning the numbers as well. So phase eight is about creating your own ISO, your own distribution. Okay. Yes, we welcome uh, some spin-offs in the sense, well, Demon Killer won't mind, but he's, um, it's not really a spin-off to be frank. It's more of a, I found some tips and tricks in Carly and ALCI, but we have to give it some name and for our people, that's clear. And Archlinks GUI, I've made a review about it. And you can talk to Demon Killer on our Discord channel. So we're trying to share the knowledge and it's fun to see that people are getting, um, yeah, getting to, to, to create their dreams, basically, to make their own ISO and to make it perfect, more perfect each time because nothing is perfect, but everything gradually grows over the years. Four years of Arclinks, see where we are now, right? It means um, a constant uh, way of, of thinking about it and why and what if and stuff like that. Another new spin-off is Ara Valley Linux 6. And for Hisham, I've made, um, well, I was supporting or consulting him all the time, talking, okay, I would do this, I would do that. And it's still up to you as developer to do as you please, of course. And um, that's in Plasma. So I'll have a look there. And that's basically really based on Carly. So Ara Valley was based on Carly and Linux 6 is based on Caravalli, if I remember correctly. Anyway, basically it's a spin-off from Carly and that's uh, fine by me, right? That's great by me. I mean, it's good that people find more and more of these, um, yeah, of, of the tools we, we reach, we, we give to, we put online and maybe I was just thinking, there is this button here, create your own distribution, right? And here they are. Aravalli Linux 6 is here. Some videos to have a look at. Xero Linux was last month that we talked about it. Have the Linux has its own uh, distribution now, its own Telegram, Discord, I don't know what they all have, but it's uh, started with us. It's great, right? With Brad Heffernan. You know him from this little tool, the Tweet tool, right? That's his hand, that's his code that we still use and, and change and adapt. So 
they're all spin-offs and vicious Linux spin-off, Bilbo Linux spin-off, right? And here we are. I've put ALG more like influenced by the tutorials than a spin-off because it's not a copy paste or build upon the GitHub, but it's um, more looking at code from others and then changing it. All right, so what's in for me? I need to make lots of changes to the tutorials, uh, so the learning path there. I've noticed already that some of the things are, have not been created until now, so lack of time. July, May and July is always, May and June, I mean, is always uh, in Belgium anyway. People from Belgium will concur. It's exam time, so examination and, and grades and all that. So we'll get some time done with CWM and, and FVWM3, make some articles there. And um, how to stay rolling, that video has been created and what's new, that's this video and that will be included in this release. All right, next time we're uh, back, uh, maybe you don't know, maybe I should say, this is holiday for us. So starting off tomorrow, <laughs> I'm on holiday and I'll be only back, let's say more or less middle of August and try, I will say try, keep away from the computer, which will not be, I will not be successful. But the point is to take a break, right? For everybody, the core members, the beta testers, everyone to take a break and think about and do things that are more important than an operating system. So that's my review. Now what will I my video about what's new? So it uh, only rests me to it, it, um, the only thing left to say is enjoy the new version we have, 2107. If you're already part of the learning path, great. If this is all new to you, I hope I gave you an overview of what's possible. And there's so much possible, but don't think it will be um, overnight. It's a process of months, if not years, to start, uh, to end in, in, a, in a level as um, described here on phase eight. Building your own distribution is not that easy. But it's possible, right? It's possible, it's just the knowledge is all there, but you need to learn, you need to read also, read a lot and listen to a lot of videos, and then you can get there. All right, have fun. And um, if you can, maybe uh, don't ask that too much. People will say, Eric doesn't, he does not ask it at all. But think about donating. So it's like going to the university. A university is not free either. So we are basically providing so much knowledge out there so you can start from scratch and build your own distribution or just use our ISO to watch uh, some videos and read the mail. All good for us, but it can be so much more. So if you're able, if you can, then uh, please donate and that would be great. So we can pay all our, well, expenses. Cheers for now and um, have a great holiday and we'll see each other in September for the next release. Cheers.